Talk about a perfect place to go, not only, like you just said, kind of an expansion team getting things started, and the fact that head coach was kind of an offensive guy, Weeb Eubank. Could you, memories of Coach Eubank? Well, Weeb Eubank came to the Baltimore Colts as an assistant coach from Paul Brown's Cleveland Brown staff. And Paul Brown in Cleveland had one of the great franchises in NFL history. And one of Paul Brown's great strengths was uh, simplicity combined with being sound. And we Eubank brought that system to Baltimore. And one of the most difficult things in coaching is to keep it simple and be sound. And we had mastered both principles. And what a career he had, not only with the Baltimore Colts, but then also going on to the Jets and what they did with Joe Namath there. A true legend of the game. No, he was, uh, uh, as I said, he had mastered simplicity. And uh, he also was one of those rare coaches who had a tremendous eye for talent. And he... uh, He's the one that recognized John Unanus uh, as a free agent talent. And uh, then, of course, he had uh, Joe Namath in uh, New York. And so he knew what to do with great quarterbacks. And it's interesting you mentioned that he came over from the Cleveland Browns. They threw the ball. This is when they had Otto Graham and winning all those championships. Back at, during this time, guys weren't, teams weren't really throwing the ball that much. Well, the uh, the Los Angeles Rams were a team that were throwing the ball uh, good. They had Norm Van Brocklin and Bob Waterfield, and the San Francisco 49ers had Y.A. Tittle, and they were throwing the ball. So the uh, forward pass was uh, in Detroit had Bobby Lane, and they were throwing the ball real efficiently at that particular stage of the NFL history.